This is Joe Joe. Let me introduce to you Joe. Uh, peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let me introduce myself. I'm Joe Husband. <laughs> I can't stop. I'm really old. That's so good. That's so good to be true. I mean, so beautiful. I mean, well, yeah, you know, I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> I mean, this guy, he will make you really proud to be an American. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> I'm, I'm supposedly, I'm not going to make this video long. Uh, but how true that, I mean, how I can do that, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Someone with strong shoulders. I know that if we entrust this nation to Joe, he will do for your family what he did for ours. Bring us together and make us whole. Carry us forward in our time of need. Keep the promise of America for all of us. This is the good part. This is the wife talking. And the funny Muhammad, the prophet of the Muhammad, and he says women have half a brain. Look, she said the whole thing. She did not make any stupid thing. <laughs> now the man will count. The smart man, you know, the smart, you know, the men are smarter than women, you know, they are so smarter, you know. Women are stupid, supposedly, according to Muhammad, you know, hello, and the prophet of Allah, you cannot make fun of him. You make cartoon, they will kill you. Hello. <laughs> so we will not show cartoon today of Muhammad. I want to stay alive until the end of the show. <laughs> but an idiot, Muhammad. So look, this woman, she said all the sentence. She did not make any mistake. And now Joe will show up. Joe is coming. Are you ready for Joe? Are you ready for Joe? The coming president for USA. Stop. Biden have failed 
Are you kidding me? You must be a Republican. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wife, she saw the husband. What a moment. What a moment of romance. I mean, she cannot wait. I mean, this is the guy she will miss every five seconds. <laughs> Fake love, I can't tell. You are suffering a lot with this man. I can't tell. Okay, body language. I'm Joe Biden's husband. You are who? As heard tonight. What? what? You are who? Biden's husband. What? As heard tonight. Excuse me, you can see why. Oh, <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Joe Biden's husband. Hmm. I was wondering you are the husband of who for a long time. <laughs> An American, they are going to vote for this guy. <laughs> okay, but you know, Joe Biden. Okay, so what? All of us, we make mistakes. It's one time deal. I mean, come on. Why you are being hypocrite? You never made a mistake before you do make mistake all of you <sighs> now trump he have something to say about that now sleepy joe would say the unemployment rate in the great state of ohio no no you're in south carolina joe joe <laughs> This guy, he take an airplane, he fly to a different state, and when he land there, he didn't know what he is. <laughs> so he speak to people of Ohio, he called them, he, you know, when he is in North Carolina, he says he's Ohio. <laughs> Perfect, man. Perfect. So you are the president of who? Uh, I am not a president. I am the king of Jordan. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm president of Afghanistan. Let me introduce you. <laughs> We need you. Sleepy Joe would say the unemployment rate in the great state of Ohio. No, no, you're in South <laughs> Carolina. Joe, Joe, you're in South. They come up with you. Ever see the guy? The no, no, no. It's South Carolina. It's not Ohio. Okay. Then he goes, all right, Iowa. Did you say Iowa? No, no. I did that like seven times. If I did that once, it would be the end of the road, right? Be the end of the road. They'd say Trump has lost it. They like to say. Uh, someone saying he did not say he is Joe's husband, he said Jill. No, we go. We, we can't play it for you again. Hold on. Hold on, just for confirmation. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Let us play it again. Slow motion. <laughs> I'm Joe Biden's husband. <clears throat> Did you hear it, Dominique? I'm Joe Biden husband. Joe Biden husband. Uh, listen again, listen again. Uh, but the Prophet Muhammad, he said that when you sleep, Satan, he piss in your ears. And now you are proving this is to be true. Scientifically proven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joe Biden's husband. <clears throat> As heard tonight, How many times we need to play, play it for you? I'm Joe, I'm Joe Biden husband. Hello. Secondly, anyway, you can play it in your own time. Let us go back to uh, Trump. Oh boy. People have difficulty with hearing these days. It must be Satan. So, okay. And Trump then, he is making comment about Joe Biden. The end of the road, right? Be the end of the road. They'd say Trump has lost it. They like to say that anyway, I guess. Huh? These people are bad people. Oh, Sleepy Joe. Oh, he's running tomorrow. No, but could you imagine if I said just a small fraction of the mistakes he makes, which are unbelievable? Every speech. <laughs> this is true. If the one who make those statement is Trump, can you imagine those left media what they will do? C N N D N N D N A C S S S H I T. You know all those uh, stations. What they will do if if Trump is making those things, man, they will rip him apart. 
but because he is their guy actually even cnn five years five years ago they have a, a special video about his stupidity now suddenly he became a hero <laughs> unbelievable uh, don't uh... <laughs> Uh, actually, I can show you even his vice president. Each time you ask her a question, she starts, hey, what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> so it's a perfect team. We have a per I mean, and that's it. America will be so great by having Joe bite me and uh, Kamala Hara Hara Hara. <laughs> Kamala. Even her, she doesn't know how to pronounce her name. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I love my Arabic name. It's very easy to pronounce. It takes you like 15 minutes just to write it. <laughs> I actually said the other night, I was watching him when he said about half the population wiped out with guns. Half the population wiped out by guns? <laughs> That's a good one. The mistakes he makes, which are unbelievable. Every speech. I actually said the other night, I was watching him when he said about half the population wiped out with guns. I said, I said, that's a horrible thing. That's the end of his evening. That's the end of his political career. And then after the debate, they're reviewing him. They said, Joe Biden had a great night last night. I don't get it, Tim. Hmm. Okay. I did now, not... Sleepy Joe would say the other... Hold on. I did not get it, too. But some people will get it. Don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs> and women created by the go, you know the you know these truths to be self evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. What? All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. What? The meat. We hold these truths to be self evident. <laughs> All men and women created by the go. I know they are created by who? I mean, by, uh, you know, uh, obviously by Microsoft. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> A priest was shot in Lyon. This is something new news. Well, those filthy terrorists, they will never stop. Until we stop them, get ready, people, those terrorists. And now by electing Joe Biden, who is endorsed by Muhammad himself. Do you know that Muhammad himself is in the agenda of Joe Biden? Yes, brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah. We have Joe Biden who is going to establish the Islamic Caliphate. And he is taking the best example to solve your problem, Prophet Muhammad. How you know how how Biden is going to solve any problem in the world? He is inviting the Mujahideen, the terrorist, to shoot you. Listen to this. Hadith from the Prophet Muhammad instructs: Whomever among you sees a wrong, let him change it with his hand. If he is not able, any of you see a wrong, change it by his hand. So according to Muhammadan, who follow Muhammad, the real Muhammad, and not Muhammadan by name, if you are a gay, they have to change that by their hand. Okay, what is the hand the changing will be? I will leave the answer for you, gay people. If you are an atheist, and this is wrong according to Islam, Joe Biden saying to the Muslims, come to America and change it by your hand if you see something wrong. What is wrong? Be an atheist. How the Muslims will change it by their hand? You know the answer, atheist. Uh, actually, hold on. Atheists are very hard for them, especially the leftist. It's very hard for them to know the answer. Hmm. I will give you A, B, C. Hmm. First one is A. Okay, they will kill you. Second one is B. They will kill you. Third one is C. They will kill you. Which one you choose? Number four. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. I mean, they are so genius, man. They are bringing this idiot, quoting the terrorist Muhammad, telling the Muhammadan and Al-Qaeda and ISIS, if you see something wrong in America, change it by your hands. Is that including the 9-11? This is what they did in 9-11. They changed it by their hands. 
I mean, how in the world you can vote for such an idiot, stupid donkey who is quoting the biggest terrorist in the world just to get some vote of a few Muslims in Michigan? Can you believe it? This filthy, stupid idiot. I'm sure this is not his idea, by the way. Those are people around him. They told him in Michigan, there's big numbers of Muslims. So you need their vote because Michigan is a key state for winning or losing. So he made this video. They have no dignity. And he promised them even he want to make a minister from a Muslim minister for them. I would not be surprised if he win, he will make a Muslim minister take immigration. This is Joe Biden, the coward. He is asking terrorists to change America by their hands. Are you going to vote for this coward? Anyway, we will see. Two days from now. Three days. Let us continue with Joe Biden, me, who bite everybody, including himself. Uh, okay. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Joe Biden, by the way, he is live with us on air. I was talking to him in Skype, and that's why it took me so long, because he is so slow. But he took some medication, and now he is going to give you answers very fast. Mr. Joe, are you there with us? I'm Joe Biden. This is the Wired Autocomplete interview I'm about to do. Have you ever Googled yourself before? No, I try not to. First card here. Is Joe Biden a Democrat or Republican? What a silly question, man. What else would you be but a Democrat? <laughs> I will explain to you, stupid Joe, why they are asking this question. Because you are weird. In the morning, you are Democrat. Afternoon, you are Republican. In the middle of the day, you are, you are something else. <laughs> and uh, sometimes you are Joe husband. Sometimes you are the, the wife. <laughs> what a silly question. I mean, why the question would be silly if they choose a silly man to be in the, in the place? You were a vice president. This, Obama, he chose this guy for a reason, by the way. He wants a joke to be in the office. Someone he is useless. So he can control everything. Tell us more, Joe. First card here. Is Joe Biden a Democrat or Republican? What a silly question, man. What else would you be but a Democrat? I'd have to change my name if I weren't a Democrat. My grandfather. F <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody smart from the Democrat to explain to us. What do you mean he will explain his he will exchange his name if he is not Democrat? What he will be? <laughs> he will be Joe Biden's husband <laughs> or Kamala Harris. Uh -huh. All right. Friending would come back from his grave. All right. Is Joe Biden running for president? Yes, I am. I'm running for president. Is Joe Biden? Uh, hold on. Aren't you the one who said you are running for senators? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure Joe Biden? Joe Biden, he didn't know he's running for what? Are you sure you are running for... They are asking the question because you say, in many places, running for Senate. Let me find it. Hold on. <sighs> You know, we have to come together. That's why I'm running. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. <laughs> you know, we have to come together. The call done. When Joe Biden, he touched his head, that is something now. You have to be, you have to be, think about it. The genius is coming to come with what? So now he touched his head. And now he's thinking. And he is digging. And now it's election time. And now he is going to tell the crowd he is running for what? And now the answer is coming. Yes, Joe. Don't hold the answer, Joe. We are waiting for it, Joe. 
You know, we have to come together. That's why I'm running. Hold on. I want to learn the secret. Touch which side? Was it the, the left side? Hold on. I want to play it slow because I'm slow too. Okay. Uh, how you do it, Joe? You know, we have to come together. Okay, hold on. I want everybody to hold your hand up. This is this is the left hand. Put it there exactly in the same location so you can get the brilliant answers. If you are unable to answer problems or to solve problems because you are not doing the right move, Joe Bite Me is the one who teach you how to do it. So put everybody in the room, put your hand up, mm -hmm. touch your head, uh -huh. four fingers there, uh -huh. scratch it there, uh -huh. and the answer is coming now. You are running for what? That's why I'm running. You're running where? I mean, English is funny, by the way. First time I start learning English, they told me that if you have a, a influenza, you have a running nose. I know I was thinking about it. No, running nose. Running nose. How how your nose can run? I mean, really, English is funny, huh? But but then I met Joe Biden, and that explained everything. This is the running nose of America. I was wondering how a nose can run. Well, if Joe Biden, who is going for election as a president, suddenly he changed his course and he... <laughs> deep thinking. Bring us deep answers. You know, we have to come together. That's why I'm running. I'm running as a proud Democrat for the Senate. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> mm. You know, we have to come together. That's why I'm running. Mm. So when they ask you in the other video, you are running for senators or you are you, because this is what you do. And by the way, did you see Joe running in the stage? When he arrived to the stage, they told him, advise him to show them that you are still young. You have to like fall fast. So he started running. <laughs> Hilarious. It's like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> okay, Joe, you have more questions and answers? going to win as my grandfather would say the grace of god the goodwill of the neighbors and the crick not rising yes i'm gonna win <laughs> what what and which god allah the one you have just approved him <laughs> oh boy <laughs> uh, yesterday i went to bed and i have Headache from laughing, and today is going to be no better. Oh boy, what I'm doing to myself. But anyway, you know, Joe is the best in everything. We have to admit. I mean, you can't run away from the truth. I mean, the left, they say so. And if the left, they say so, it is so. So it is. Hmm. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. Wait a minute, what happened to me? Am I losing my blackness? I am black, Joe, and I'm a Democrat. And guess what else? I am the NRA. And guess what? Joe, I'm not voting for you. And I'm not voting for you because you are a bigot. I'm not voting for you because you think I, don't, I can't think for myself. Donald Trump has done more for African Americans, Joe Biden, in 47 months than you have in 47 years. Peace out to you. Stay in your basement. Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, take your AR, your AR 14s or whatever. Okay, this is not okay. Hold on, hold on. All right. Hey, let's you don't tell me all this. There's a lot of guys. Hey, you're, you're, you're. There's no AR 14, it's the AR 15. Now, is this the guy you want to be the president? of these United States. Hey, hold on, hold on. Come on. First of all, you're not black. <laughs> if you don't vote if you don't vote for Biden, you're not black. <laughs> I'm going to die one day behind the microphone because of this. I hate it. Get me some water. Hold on. The guy here lost his blackness. <laughs> I'm not voting for you, Joe. I'm still an Arab or I'm not an Arab. <laughs> you know, actually, this is an insult for the black community. Those people, they are even labeling you 
and they are even telling you what is your color if you don't vote for them you are evil you are disgusting and you are not even black no more well he is a redhead now actually he look blonde for me <laughs> god bless the black people i hope they will see the truth that those people they are using you they are using you those cowards they are taking advantage of you for how how long black people are waiting voting for democrat why you vote for them what they did to you democrat party is the party of slavery don't you know or because the schools these days especially in those liberal states they did not teach you history they made you go after uh, Christopher Columbus but not after the Democrat leaders aren't they the one who fought always against your freedom hmm? Democratic Party is the party of racism why people don't want to see the truth? Hmm. Today's Democratic Party believes that government has an important role to play in society. It fights against economic inequality. It advocates policies that battle racial and gender discrimination. But it wasn't always this way. The Democratic Party was once the party of white supremacy, supporting slavery and the Ku Klux Klan. To understand how the party made such a huge shift, you have to go back to its origins in the mid-1820s, when it sprung up supporting the presidential candidacy of a popular former general, Andrew Jackson. Jackson was an outsider, challenging the political establishment and the elites of his day, and his critics disparaged him as a jackass. But Jackson embraced the animal as a symbol of determination, and donkeys started appearing in newspapers to represent him and his followers. In the 1828 presidential election, which saw record-breaking popular participation, Jackson won in a landslide victory. So his supporters argued that they, and not the old elites, represented the popular will of the country, and they started calling themselves the Democratic Party. So now we knew where the donkey is coming from. What about the rest? Do we have any Democrat here? Is it true that this party is the party of slavery? You can search right now. There's tons of videos in YouTube and all is documented history. Speaking about slavery, that the one who gave actually, the one who fought for freedom for black people, it was the Republican. The Democratic Party is the party of opportunity. What does that mean? Let us say, if the major population want racism, then they are racist. They change. All what they care for is how to win. If the major population is KKK, they will be KKK, and they actually they are the KKK. The Democrat Party is the KKK Party, the same as Taliban. This, they have the same idea. You know, the Taliban, the Islamic Taliban, Muhammad himself, the prophet of Islam, he is a KKK white supremacist person. If you don't belong, belong to my clan, I will kill you. So the Democrat Party, when they notice that they need the black majority, or let us say the black population in some areas to win election they start speaking for the black people suddenly they became they are in love with the black people but in fact they always abuse the black people and they are the one who wanted the black people to stay slaves forever if we go right now and search in youtube we will find tons of videos explaining to you that this is really what happened they are the party of slavery this is the truth. The Democratic Party prides itself on being inclusive and advocating for communities of color. But there was a time when racism was at the center of its policies. The 
Democratic Party began in the early 1800s under Andrew Jackson. It was founded on the belief that democracy should be for all men, not just the elites and landowners. Well, all white men, that is. The party was more than happy for slavery to continue, and it treated Native Americans with brutal contempt. As president, Jackson enforced one of the cruelest policies in American history when he signed the Indian Removal Act into law. White people wanted to settle on Native lands, so the Democratic government uprooted Native Americans from their homelands, forcing them to travel west. Okay, you can watch those videos yourself just to save time, but it's documented that the Democratic Party is the party of slavery, and I call it the party of opportunity. To make people who they are immigrant like me vote for them, they open the borders, not because they love me, but because they want more, more, more immigrants so they can take the major population. They, they want to change the demographic in order to win election. Which means they are using me as an immigrant so they can control a country with their own agenda. Which is mean they are sacrificing the country, bringing more people. When people in, U in USA, if I go right now, and I search for two words, homeless California. What will happen? Homeless. California. I will find endless numbers of videos showing you homeless in California. How in the world we have homeless in California? I mean, this is the most richest state should be. We have Google there. Do you know what Google is? Google is an empire by itself. Google budget is bigger than budget of many countries in the world. Actually, maybe bigger than the budget of Africa altogether. How in the world we have homeless in California? People sleep in the street, literally. Literally, literally. Tents everywhere. Why? Because this is a running government, Democrat, state. In order to control and win election, they bring more and more and more and more immigrant. And what happened then? New immigrant like me, when I come to the state, I accepted to work for $500. I mean, what I can do, you know, this is what they offer me. But the person who is born in the state, he will not accept that. So he will take $3,000 and he need health insurance. One for me, they will not give me health insurance. $500 and that's it. No health insurance, no retirement plan, nothing. So you bring more illegal immigrant, and never I was illegal, me myself, I'm just giving you an example, and that will help the rich people to get richer, making money out of those poor immigrants, in the same time will make Americans go more poor and homeless. If you look at this, you will never believe that this is in America. And this is where? In San Francisco, or Los Angeles, or San Diego. But the most bad area is in San Francisco. Look at this. This is America. It cannot be, it cannot, you know, people, they dream to come to USA. How this has happened? Because this filthy party don't care what will happen. They care how to win. Right? And the same in Europe. George Soros, he want cheap employment for his empire. He is the one who owned most of manufacture there. He want more. I mean, this guy, he is just a businessman, but he is a businessman who tell the president what to do. He owned most of TV stations, newspapers, and he is the one who make a president, a president or a prime minister, a prime minister. And he is the one who sponsor bringing more and more and more immigrant. You ask yourself, what is for? Money money they don't care what will happen to your country after that and you might say okay you're an immigrant <clears throat> and now are you saying close the borders i say yes because this is for the benefit of the country if you want to bring someone he have to be qualified to be in first of all 
why you want to bring me here if I have no job or I will take your job? Either you are stupid or you are stupid. Why you want to bring me here if I don't have a qualification to live in this country? Because what I would do then, I would do drug deal, I would, I would be a drug dealer, a criminal, a thief, what I, what I will work if I don't have a, a skills. What if I am a criminal? What if I am a drug dealer? What if I am a terrorist? Open borders, anyone jump from the border, they give him papers. And you will notice always every few years the Democrat, they take office, they give tens of millions green card. Did you ask yourself why? Are they really in love with immigrants? No. They say to themselves, 10 million citizen additional is 10 million vote. You die, you live, who care? You became homeless, who care? We will give you a citizen, just vote for us. And they want to make you believe that they are the one who in love with you. This is the truth. But the fact is, they are the party who will make you homeless. They will make people who they are born in this country homeless, and they will make immigrant homeless, and they will create a criminal movement. Democrat Party stands for everything wrong. For a very simple reason. Because they don't care for you. They care only how we can win the election. What will happen next is the same. I receive a letter, by the way. I throw it in the garbage. Shall I bring it? I don't have a camera to show you. In the letter, it says, if you vote for Joe Bite Me, you will get a free education, are we? How many times we heard Obama speaking about Obamacare, free care, and then when Obamacare come, we found it's more expensive than the care before. <laughs> they lie to you, free education. All big statement. When they are in the office, they do nothing. Free education, you cannot even find a tent for those people. What free education? People are sleeping in the street and you are telling us you are going to provide free education. How about finding the free housing for the homeless? California run by a governor who is Democrat. The judges are Democrat. The police are Democrat. The city hall are Democrat. The people are homeless. More than half a more, more than what? Hold on. More than what? This is Democrat TV. Eh. More than half a million Americans are homeless on... Thank you very much. Hmm. More than half a million? Are you sure? Uh, surely the number is bigger than that. And where we can find them? Go to California. What we will find there? Huh? We will find Democratic Party control the country and people are sleeping in a tent. This is the truth. Look at this. Even the beach, by the way. You go to the beach, in California, you don't find a beach, you find homeless. They are putting tents there, sleeping in the beach. I mean, look at this. This guy is from Germany. He is coming to a beach area. It's called Venice. Look at Venice. You want to see, you want to see Venice, America? This is Venice, America. Welcome to Venice Beach, California. A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video about the homeless encampment in Venice Beach. And it seemed like a lot of people watched this video and comment on it like, why don't you talk to those people instead of just videotape them, see what their problem is. So today I tried to walk around and try to get some people on film, but nobody established a spot. I don't really hang out. Look at this. There's a spot over there where I have the clothes I washed and things drying um, over here because You've got the new restroom on the over there. Guys, do you see? Do you see? This is the beach of Venice. This is Venice. Do you see what Democrat can accomplish? I mean, isn't it a life? This is life, man. This is life. They are so successful. Joe Biden is a Democrat.
California are Democrat, Chicago are Democrat. Whatever Democrat, they go crimes increase, homeless increase, bloodshed increase, and all garbage increase. So they promise us something, and then when they have them in the office, we see something. But if you ask yourself why this is happening in California, why why it's California? Tax is so crazy. Democrat. Democrat, in order to cover bringing all those people who have no jobs from abroad, opening the borders, they have somebody have to pay for them. So what they do? They increase your tax. So the one is working, he is like it's like a dog. <sighs> he can't breathe for it is so hot. They make it so hot to the point you cannot pay your rent. Even if you are working, there's many homeless, by the way, between those, I saw the videos, they are working two jobs, yet they cannot pay for rent. Can you believe it that somebody have two jobs, yet he cannot pay for rent, so he live in a tent? When you say homeless, you think somebody is not having a job, right? Many of them, they have a job, but they cannot pay for rent. That is Democrat. <clears throat> Sarah, she said, CB, believe in the oneness of a trinity. This Sarah never listened to her, you know. She is always, she says, she says stupid things. I have no idea what, where she come with us from. We believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, three person, one God. Anyone who say I say something that I did not say is a stupid person. Make fun of him. It's very hard to explain things to some people because they choose to be funny and stupid. I Democrat Party desert Biden Party. Good for you. I mean, there's, you see, this is not a party. This is a gang system. The Democrats are not a party. And, you know, they fooled those young ones. They told them this is the party stand for the right things. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Republicans are racist. Uh, they are redhead. I'm not redhead person. There's many and black people. They are voting for Trump. Latino voting for Trump. Why we are doing that? Because simply we notice and we do not need to be genius to see that they are a bunch of hypocrites taking advantage of you. Actually, if you vote for Democrat, you are voting, you are an antichrist. Why? Everything they stand for is against the Bible. When Trump, he hold the Bible after they try to burn a church. Democrat, they said, this is what you want from America? Is that America you are looking for? So it's a shame now that the president, he is holding the Bible. Isn't it your filthy Obama? He took an oath on the Bible, you coward. Isn't it Joe Biden, he is going to hold the Bible when he became a president? So how come if a Trump, he hold the Bible in the front of a church, you try to burn? Why you want to burn a church? You tell me why you want to burn a church. You are angry from a president. What the church have to do with the Trump? Instead of going against their own people, Antifa, and the faith of Antifa, and the coward Antifa, they are going after the guy who peacefully hold the Bible. And they say to you, do you know that he asked the police or let us say the federal police to go and clean the area? You coward, you killed the black guard for the church. So you will not see in the news that there's a black man who is a policeman who was killed by Antifa. You will see only Trump holding the Bible. Suddenly black life, it doesn't matter. When they want black life matter, when they want black life doesn't matter, for they are hypocrite cowards. And all of us, we knew that the black life matter is a racist group, <laughs> and the founders of it are not black. <laughs> they want to divide us, by the way. They want us to be fighting against each other. They want us to be a racist. They play always the game of race in order to win. Any, any card they will play. They are dirty. They are dirty as dirt. 
So voting for Democrat is voting for the devil. Once, you know, once a, a Christian lady in the chat, uh, in the text, she said to me, how you know, how you vote for Trump? Trump is not a Christian. Who said he is going to be Christian? The guy, he never said that he is a priest. But he is not going to burn our churches. And he said to us, Merry Christmas. And he hired Christian judges, not like you. In the history of Democrat, never a Christian judge. In the history of Democrat, only those who support abortion. Only those who support everything against the Bible. Obama, for eight years, he forbid any of his government official to say Merry Christmas. And they force even stores like Walmart not to say Merry Christmas or to play Merry Christmas song. It's Happy Holiday. You walk out of a Walmart, they will say to you Happy Holiday. Why? Because the filthy Obama was trying to subdue Christianity. So why we will not do that? <clears throat> My friend, stop telling me about Sarah. I don't know who is this Sarah. Who, who is this Sarah? What's wrong with you people? Anyone will mention the name Sarah in the chat, we will block you. Sarah, she said, Sarah, she did. Let her have a diarrhea. What's wrong with you? You can say that too. I just said, I know all of you, you come to my channel. Don't be stupid. Don't be a donkey. I have no place for donkeys here. Join Democrat if you like to be a donkey. We Christian, we believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, three person, one God. Anyone says something different, he is no Christian. So stop telling me about Sarah Farah, unless you are a donkey. She said in her channel, you said so. So she can say whatever you want. Are you stupid or what? So please, admin, anyone mention this woman, Sarah, in the chat, black him. Immediately. Sarah, Sarah, where are you? Everybody is speaking about you. Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. You became a donkey, you. What's, her? What's wrong with people? I mean, how many times I have a video still in the channel, me and Sam Shamoon about the Trinity, you donkey. You watch it, this is still there. I did not move it. <laughs> no, it's not, I'm not talking about you. I'm, on, I'm talking about this woman, whoever he is, she is. Anyway, going back to the topic. Oh boy. Every five seconds, somebody would say to me, Salas, he said, Salas. Who is this Rosara? What's wrong with you? In China, they say he left as a donkey, he will come back as a horse. So how you can explain to a donkey that he is not a donkey? I'm sorry, he's a horse or he's not a... Uh, should I? Okay, I'm going to ask Joe Biden to correct me in here. I am not banning fracking. Let me say that again. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. Like what about, say, stopping... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody, his name is Derek, he said to me, don't key you, you do not know American politics. Oh, you are the one who know it, right? So let me, let, can you tell me one thing I do not know about American politics, Mr. D D Drake? Mr. Drake, you see, I'm giving you opportunity to tell me about American politics. American politics is this. If you are Democrat, you sponsor abortion. Tell me I'm lying, be a man. You are a baby killer. If you are a Democrat, you support homosexuality. If you are a Democrat, you support suppressing the Christians, oppressing the Christians. If you are a Democrat against the cross in the park, against the Bible in the hotel. If you are a Democrat, you open the borders. If you are a Democrat, you don't want to fracking for all, you freaking idiot. Which means we will go back riding you, donkey. This is Joe Biden, who he said in the debate, he never said, I'm going to stop a fracking. He said that. I am not banning fracking. Let me say that again. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. Like what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yes. the pipe? I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. No more, no new fracking. No matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. We, we are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. 
no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. Hi. Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make sure it's eliminated. We are not banning fracking. <laughs> not banning fracking. Let me say that again. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald... This is the Democrat. I mean, if the one who is saying this is a Trump, they will rip him apart. But their guy, he can lie, because we are a bunch of Democrat liars. Hmm. I'm not banning fracking. I'm not banning fracking. But this guy in every single meeting, he says he will ban it. In every single meeting. We have, it's in tape, you idiot. You know, Biden is like a Muslim debating me. I say to him, you said so. Okay. If we lose internet, guys, let me know. I see my internet is going down. I don't know if you hear me. Hello? Trump lies about me. Like what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping... Yeah. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. I am not banning fracking, no matter how many times Donald Trump lies about me. True story. Is my voice coming, guys? Is the net coming fine? I see it agreeing on my side, but I don't know. So look at those cowards. Look at those liars. <clears throat> How in the world we can trust those people? <clears throat> Let us see more videos. <clears throat> what about this one? Let us see. For five decades, Joe Biden's been losing. Joe Biden lost millions of manufacturing jobs to Mexico and China. Joe Biden lost veteran lives waiting for care from the VA. Joe Biden lost America's respect when he opposed the raid to kill Osama bin Laden. Joe Biden lost our trust when he sold us out to China. Now Joe Biden's lost it. Joe Biden, America deserves better. No, you know, we deserve Joe Biden. I mean, who can lie better, better than Joe Biden? Joe husband. And then we find that there is videos made by the Democrat. Let me search for them. They claim that those are Christians. And they made an ad about it. Christians are saying we cannot vote for Trump. Hmm. Let us see if I can find. Those. some of those ads. <clears throat> ah, here we go. My name is Sean. I'm from Georgia. Uh, I'm a conservative Christian. I believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for me and that he died for you. Um, I'm a homeschooling father of four and I'm also a retired 20-year uh, veteran uh, Air Force pilot. I have never voted for a Democratic presidential candidate in my life, but this year I'm voting for Biden because I think Trump is burning down the house and I think we just need to get him out. Put up how, how, how Trump is burning down the house? Can somebody tell me? He is a Christian brother. He is very conservative. He served in the army. I serve in the army too. Trump is burning the house. Should you tell us how? Tell us how. Up the fire and then start rebuilding. 
Uh, I want to talk about this first from a Christian perspective because I know many Christians. Aha, uh -huh, he will tell you about the Christian perspective. Let us see the Christian perspective. I like to hear that. Christians support Trump simply because of the pro life agenda. But I think it needs to be considered and understood that that is a transaction and it comes with a price. Ah, so we are going to vote for those who they are going to kill babies. And now I'm going to tell you about my Christian perspective. I mean, how Christian are you to vote for those who do abortion and kill children? And you are yet claiming that because you are a Christian, you will not vote for Trump. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, can you see how coward liars they are? How dare you to, to, to call yourself a Christian? You are a false Christian. The man, he is doing everything the Christian agree with. We don't have holiday, we have a Christmas. He listened to our church leaders. He hired Christian judges. He is against abortion. And yet you claim that he is burning the house. The one who is burning the cross is you, coward liar. So they bring you people who betray the faith, claiming that they are Christians. You cannot be Christian and you vote Democrat. You cannot. It's a lie. When those cowards, they went and burned the churches, you are going to vote for them? If we go right now and do a little search. If guys, if I lose in, uh, internet again, just refresh the page, okay? It's going to be for a few seconds, maybe most of the time. Like sometimes the speed go down. St. John's Church, widely known as the Church of the Presidents, was used last night by the current commander in chief to make a statement. Shortly after authorities used force to clear the area of protesters, President Trump walked to the church. Protesters, this is Democrat, this is Democrat station. Protesters, but the protesters are burning a church. And those are peaceful protesters who they are Democrat. And we are going to vote for those who burn the church. So the guy who stood in the front of the church holding the Bible, he says, we will not let you burn our churches. That make him an evil man. And you want to vote for those who burn the churches. From the White House and held up a Bible that moment not sitting well with the bishop who oversees the the bishop by the way we have many bishops in churches they are not bishop they are bishet those are not bishop the bishop of that church he said this is not right why it's not right you coward holding the Bible in your hand the book which says love your enemy is not right It doesn't matter what he do. He is the devil. If he hold the Bible, he is the devil. That make him actually more evil for them. And yet they will bring you someone he claimed to be a Christian saying, I'm not going to vote for Trump because he is against my Christian value. What value are you are talking about? What value? You tell me. And then you will see that they, they burned the church inside. They burned the church. I mean, for what reason you burned the church? Do you want to vote for those who burn churches and the media praise them? 
and bishop of the church, he defend burning the church. He say, hey, come and burn our church as we like it. We Christian, we like you to burn our church. Trump is bad. How you can vote for Democrat? So they do their best to demonize the man. No matter what he do, no matter what he say, he is an evil person. Masks, no masks, everything, you can do all you want, but you know, you still need help from the boss. We need help from the boss. That's what happened. We need help. All right. Everything you can do all you want, but you know, you still need help from the boss. We need help from the boss. That's what happened. We need help. We need help. It's all right to say. It. Now they'll criticize me for that. How dare he say that? See? If he say we need help from Jesus, they will say to him, look, actually, this is why they hate him. This is the truth. This is the truth. They want someone like Obama make fun of the Bible. Is it bigotry to make fun of us? No. You are a Christian. But if you make fun of Muhammad, you are a bad person. You are, you are a phobia. How many times the filthy Obama and the Democrat, they make fun of the Bible? And then they say to you, you know, voting for Trump is against our Christian value. Hmm. Let us see. On June 28, 2006, Senator Barack Obama gave a speech to the Call to Renewal Conference, where he explained why he finds it so difficult for America to use the Bible to help guide our public policy. Which passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical? <laughs> and then Obama, a few years after, he is kissing the Bible just to win. Praying in a church. He loved Christianity. He's a pastor, Back here actually. At home, so many people talking about an extraordinary moment involving President Obama, who delivered the eulogy in South Carolina. The president surprising everyone. Glory, 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 glory. It was a day of song and solidarity in Charleston. The line started forming before six o'clock at one point, ten blocks long. See, those are those are Christians. He is coming to the church, singing with them, praising the praising God. You know, Hallelujah. Our excess mortality. <laughs> Back here at home, so many people talking about an extraordinary pastor who was killed in that church. Yeah, hold on. Let us see. This is who they are. They are coward, they are liars, they are fake. They use you and then they dump you. And by the way, even if you go to a church, you go to a church is not a church. It's a racist place. He pray when it's time to show that he is a Christian to win election. He make fun of the Bible when he's not.
I'm trying to find a video. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Uh, all right, let's see. I mean, there's tons of videos, but forget it. All of them are the same. But are we going to believe them? They are liars. They are liars and they are cowards. Is my internet good, guys? From my side, I see it's going down a little bit. Let me know if it's not good. So, to make it simple, when they bring you liars who claim to be Christians, saying that they will not vote for Trump, so what? let us say, okay, you know what? This can be acceptable if there's other options. Someone is better than Trump as a Christian. But do you have any? You have people who vote for abortion, sponsor homosexuality, sponsor banning the Bible, sponsor banning banning uh, uh, the cross from public places. Uh, they want to take the word God from the Constitution. They want to take the word God we trust in God we trust. Uh, they want to take anything have to do with God. So you are voting for who exactly? Are you voting for a person or for a policy? So when you when they get you someone like this person claiming to be Christian, He's a fraud. He's a liar. Look at this face. Shame on you. How dare you even to say what you said. You are a liar. Is supporting Israel against the Bible? Is giving Jerusalem back to the Jews is against the Bible? Is making the Arab sign peace agreement with Israel is against the Bible? What is against the Bible exactly? Who is here from the Democrat? He can tell me one thing. Trump, he did. He claimed, I want someone, he claimed to be Democrat, or he is Democrat, and he is claiming to be Christian, to give me one thing Trump, he did in his policy against the Bible. You will tell me his personal life. I don't care for his personal life. This is his business. All of you, all of you are, you do, you do way more than what he did. If you have the wealth he have, since an early age, trust me, you will do way more than he did. Don't be a hypocrite coward. But anyway, I understand. You want to vote for Joe Husband. I mean, if I am you, I will vote for Joe Husband too. Nobody can resist such a thing. Hey everyone, I'm Joe Biden's husband. As you heard tonight, I like it actually. I mean, in the day we make him a president, he will go on the stage. He will say, "Repeat after me: Who are you?" He will say, I'm Joe Biden's husband. You got me a troll to be a president. Ah, I don't want to forget about the vice president. Hold on. Which is more hilarious. Hmm? Each time you ask her a question, you start laughing. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It doesn't matter really what what the question is. Like in history, did anybody see 60 Minutes last night? Did anybody see 60 Minutes? Which is a total joke of a show, but you saw I released the thing early, so they got the full. But it was okay. But did you see his performance on that show? The only thing almost as bad was Kamala with the laugh. Ha ha, that's so funny, ha ha ha. She kept laughing. I said, is there something wrong with her too? 
She will not be the first woman president. You can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. No, I said, is there something wrong with her? Go watch. You ask her, what's your name? Ha 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 ha. What is your policy? Ha 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 ha. Go watch it. Not only him is mentally ill, even the one he hired to be his vice president. So if Joe bite me, he die. We will get this. Ha ha ha. Any question you ask her, ha ha ha. Let me find the video for you so you can see the ha ha we are talking about. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Obviously, there's something wrong with her. Let us see. I'm just trying to find. Any second you ask her a question. Okay. Any second you ask her a question, she don't know what to say. She go in a in a nervous mood and she start laughing. <laughs> how do you, how do you... You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But <laughs> yeah, well, actually, the nonpartisan. Anyone anyone knows why she is laughing? Just tell me. I want to know. <laughs> This is a serious question. <laughs> Somebody says in the TV. <laughs> GovTrack has rated you as the most liberal senator. Let's talk about Peggy. You once Come again on. gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> trying to answer you the now. The American people deserve a straight answer. And is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> Be important if you... <laughs> I'm start laughing too. I mean, what is this? We are going to send this woman to present the president of USA someday, one day, and they will ask her a question. She will say, what do you think about the Prophet Muhammad? <laughs> Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> what was the question? He said the truth. Joe Biden said twice in the debate last week. You landed haymakers on Joe Biden. How do you go from being such a passionate opponent? It was a debate. <laughs> Ron Gold has said that. <laughs> he is for the legalization of marijuana recreationally. Your thoughts on that? That he's entitled to his opinion. <laughs> it was legalized all throughout the country. And <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think that it gives a lot of people joy. And, we and by the way, in the same interview in this program here, he asked about she, if she smoked marijuana. Do you know what she said? She said to him, come on, I'm from Jamaica. Do you know what does that mean? She insulted every single person in Jamaica saying all Jamaican people are drug people. And then her father, her father, he said what she said is a shame. This is a stereotype talk. Anyone in Jamaica, or from Jamaica, according to her, now she is a drug person. She said, come on, I am from Jamaica. And the funny, which was very, very sad, actually. Uh, she put in jail hundreds and thousands of a black African-American for smoking marijuana, and yet she admitted that she do it always. So it's okay for her to do it, but it's not okay for them to do it. <laughs> oh, I like those guys, actually. If you don't watch their video, they are uh, African-American, they are a twin, but those guys, they do good. You know, they expose those liars very good. I like them. I saw one or two of, of their videos. Somebody saying and that a priest was attacked. Hmm. But what do you expect? Get ready, my friend. This is why I believe French government, they should arm Christians, arm churches, churches members, both people with arms, uh, French citizen who can be trusted should carry arms like us in USA, you know, and then let those terrorists deal with it. 
every French citizen start, you, you better start, change your policy. And I don't know if in France you can carry guns or not, but in America we can. You know? In America we can. And if you have difficulty with carrying your gun, I mean, really, there's many ways. I just uh, bought a, uh, actually, let me show you my last purchase. Shall I show you? Maybe I should not. Maybe I should. Shall I ask Joe? <laughs> All right, hold on. <coughs> uh, let me go to my orders. Uh, yeah, my friend, you need, you need. <sighs> All right. Because the criminals, they can't carry guns, you cannot. And this is what happened. You know, this is what happened. This is a very easy to carry gun, actually. Right, because you can insert it easy. It's very comfortable. I try it. You know, I I bought. Uh, I have like I have many, but this one is very comfortable, and it's very good actually to use to. Uh, you know, even if you if even if you are wearing your short, you can use it. So there is many. I mean, people they have to arm themselves, because government they cannot protect everybody everywhere. It's impossible. And there is terrorists everywhere. Now we go back here. <clears throat> that she running for president. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't gonna happen. That shit will never happen. Check out her interview. Have you ever smoked? I have. Okay. Like and I job. and I inhaled. I did not I did inhale. It was a long time ago. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> I just broke news. <laughs> I mean, <we're> <laughs> she put in jail. She destroyed the life of many people because they smoked marijuana, and she is proud that she got loose. There's many people they cannot get a job right now because they've been in jail because they smoke marijuana. For now, they have record. And she admitted life that she do smoke marijuana. See those cowards? Hmm. CP, you are telling us that you are dummy too because you start laugh. Uh, Kasim, I laugh. Let, let me tell you why I laugh. Kasim, he asked for it. You know, Muslims, they love to be spanked in my in my program, what I can do. I mean, and I cannot resist to give them what they like. Hey, Kasim, I will tell you why I laugh. I laugh at your profit. I don't laugh for no reason. As, a, as an example, brother, as an example, not necessarily, not limited, but example. You're a prophet, Shaitan. He said, Shaitan, he play with your anus. I laugh. <laughs> brother, what I should do? Shall I laugh or not? Huh? Your hadith of Timmy. Listen. Be in my, put, put yourself in my shoe. Oh, I forgot you are a Muslim. You cannot wear a shoe. <laughs> you wear you wear some side belt. <laughs> Brother, the Prophet said, the Prophet said, not me. What the Prophet said, and I challenge you not to love. Hadith of Timmy, this shit. It says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. <laughs> he runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Oh. Lahu Durat. I'm not making this a hadith. Hadith. And listen to the hadith like you first up, you know. Brother, this hadith. The Prophet says so. The Prophet says so. Hadith. 
And you want me to do so you are saying when I laugh it's the same as Kamila the, the question is serious and she laughed. I am laughing at your prophet is my joke. Your prophet is an idiot. I mean, did Allah told him by phone? Hey Muhammad, when you say Adan Shaitan he fought. Really, Allah? Yes. Watch his ass. You know the ass of Shaitan, you will find it smoky. <laughs> what happened when you call the Adan brother? He says, yeah, when you give the Adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the Hadith says, Lahu Durat. You know what Durat is? Durat is. <laughs> he runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu <laughs> Durat. I'm not making this the Hadith. And listen to the Ahadith, like you first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabais. So oh Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't... Uh, are, you, are you there, Qasim? <laughs> the invisible hat? So we enter by the toilet by the left foot. If you enter with the light foot, brother, you shaitan see you. Shaitan will see you. But if you enter with the left foot, brother, I bet you this guy is Democrat too. <laughs> okay, if you enter with the right foot, what happened? And you don't say the prayer. Explain to us, the brother, the prophet. What the prophet say? What the prophet said? Tell us. You go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. You're in the toilet. Shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tidmidi says. Look, look. A lady there, her name is Daria, Daria. She's saying, this is have nothing to do with Islam. This is your prophet saying that. I mean, guys, look at the Muslims. When they see something stupid, suddenly it is not from Islam. It's your prophet saying, Daria, come on. Come on, man, even though you are a girl. <laughs> come on, man. This is nothing to do with Islam. It's a, your prophet said that nothing to do with Islam. Did your prophet says that nothing to do with Islam. Your prophet said that nothing to do with Islam. So if what the prophet said nothing to do with Islam, so what everything in Islam nothing to do with Islam then? Correct? Come on, man. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tibnidi says he plays with your bowels. He plays with your bowels. So you're inside. He play where? Did you see? Huh? <laughs> Qasim, I want you to make a video, Qasim, and I want you to put a camera pointing at your anus when you enter the bathroom. I want to see the Islamic experience with their anus versus shaitan. Can you do that? CP, did you just shift to Islam from politics? You can, you donkey, it's you who made me shift. And Islam is politics anyway. Isn't it Islam is politics? And this is why it's failure. And this is why you Muslim, you don't want Islam in your countries. Which country is practicing Islam? Which country in the Islamic world, if we can call it this way, is a practicing Sharia Allah? Even Saudi Arabia, they don't. Women now, they can go without abaya. They can drive their cars and they can leave the country without permission of their parents. And Christians don't pay jizya. And nobody can beat you and force you to go to pray no more. What is next? Huh? Who is practicing Sharia? None of you. Pakistan? No. The only one who practiced Taliban and we made him shish kebab. The rest of you are hypocrite, you know. ISIS, Taliban, those are the practice Sharia. The, the, the rest are, are fake Muslims. All of you are fake Muslims. None of you practice Islam. This is the truth. So anyway, <clears throat> I better go. We had fun today with Joe Biden and we end our fun with Muhammad, which is unique, funny, liar. Now, let me see the news. They are saying that somebody, a terrorist, he shot the priest in France.
Expect more, my friend. This is a religion of the cowardness. A coward like he's a prophet, he do what his prophet do. As simple as that. Muhammad, he took poor, you know, he took people by, he murdered them. <clears throat> he assassinated them from their back. Let us see. Uh, how how long this happened today? A few hours ago. Let us see. Okay, here we go. We see it. A priest seriously in he's a Greek Greek Orthodox. Mm -hmm. Greek Orthodox priest shot by a terrorist in France. Do you see it? Yeah. Are you surprised? No. But obviously, France have to do something. They have to change the policy. They have to forbid anyone who belong to the cult of Islam, those who go to mosque and they pray, from carrying weapon. And they should allow all citizens who they are not from that cult. Some they will say to you, they are discriminating. This is not discrimination. Obviously, Islam is waging war using their own terrorists on France. And this is their country. You don't like it, let them go out. They should start deporting terrorists. Anyone who teach in the mosque that Christians are evil, we should kill them, deport them immediately, strip them from their citizenship, throw them out. Anyone will come to stay in the country if he believes people are free, including Muslims. And that will make them Muslim by name. So they will do more. And the French government, they should give the power to the French people to protect themselves. Let them get armed, arm themselves. So women in the street, she walks, she have her gun. If somebody attack her, doesn't matter who, Islam or not, she protect herself. All good citizens, they should have their own guns. Actually, our experience in USA is, is very simple. State who don't allow guns have way more crimes than a state who allowed guns. Here, all my neighbors have guns. So if somebody shooting at me, they will shoot him. So he will be shooting at me. Not only me, I will be shooting back. He will have all my neighbors who love me. They will be shooting at this idiot. They will make his bum as a screen door. And then who they are. This is why we have peace, actually, because, you know, a house without a gun or a man without a gun or a woman without a gun is a target. But if a criminal, he knew that he is not only one who have a gun, because always the criminals, they can have guns, even if they are forbidden to, to have one. There's always a market for guns for illegal market. So criminals, always they will have guns. So if you forbid the good citizen from having guns, then the criminals, they can shoot as they wish and they get away with it. It's not about gold and gun or not. You see, I have like my guns. They uh, simply is to present where I go. If I want to go, let us say to a church, then you know I don't want my gun to show in any way. So I have to have a smaller one. If I want to go for hiking or camping, then I will get the you know something nice like you know for shooting like a, with a five hundred you know like a magnum something like this you know a big bullet. So you can shoot the buffalo without even saying uh, takbir. You know, because a buffalo is a Muslim, by the way. According to Islam, all animals are Muslims. Even the Quran says so. You don't believe me? I can show you the verse. You know, let me show you the verse. Hold on. Because Muslim, they will say now, this is not true. Even, even actually, even Muhammad, he claimed, and his followers, that monkeys are Muslims. <clears throat> and they practice Sharia law. 
it might sound strange, right? But this is what they believe, you know. Here we go. This is Sahir Bukhari. And those are monkeys. They were stoning a female monkey because she cheated in her husband. Do you see it? Do you see it, Muslims? I, I thought Jesus, he gave the other cheek. Hey, you, my friend, you get the idea wrong. Jesus, he said to his followers, the one who don't have a sword, go and buy one. Cheek, not somebody is shooting me, you coward, liar, donkey. Like your prophet. Cheek. Which means, if somebody insults you, and by the way, that law, because at the time of Jesus, there was a Roman law, says if somebody hit you in certain cheek, you go to jail. Which means Jesus saying, use the law. Stop the violence. Don't be a violent yourself. Don't respond by being violent. But he never said if somebody want to kill you, let him kill you. Jesus said, the one who lives by the sword shall die by the sword, which means a criminal like you, you try to kill someone like me, the punishment is death. And the Bible says that clearly. Those who kill, they die by a capital punishment. This is the teaching of the Bible. So you Muslims get wrong the idea that you can kill the Christians and it will give you the cheek. No. If you are a terrorist and you want to kill me, I have the right to shoot you and I will make your ass as my screen door. If you are a peaceful person, I will shake hands with you and I will welcome you to drink coffee with me. I don't care if you are a Muslim or not. But if you are a criminal coming to kill me, I have the right to make you shish kebab. This is the teaching of Christ. <clears throat> However, we can show you the teaching of Muhammad, all right? Uh, I do not know the true meaning. We have a Muslim here, they are, I do not know the true meaning of Islam, brother. Okay, what is the true meaning, Abdul Malik? What is the true meaning? Shall we show you? Here we go. The true meaning of Islam is to wage jihad and kill anyone don't believe in Islam and practice Islam. Is that true or not? Is that true or not, Abdul Malik? This is your prophet. Well, maybe your prophet did not know the true Islam too. You know, this is your prophet saying this is the true Islam. The duty of a Muslim is to kill anyone who don't believe in Allah in the last days and don't agree that Muhammad is a prophet and say shahada and he have to pay the zakat and he have to slaughter as we slaughter and eat as we eat and pray as we pray and this is the only way to stop shedding his blood. Are you saying that you're a prophet, he do not know the meaning of Islam? You need even to eat the same food they eat, otherwise he will kill you still. Which means even if you say Shahada, you are going to be a victim of the coward terrorist Muhammad. You have to pay, you have to pray as he pray, even to the direction he pray, which means if you pray the different direction, he will kill you. You have to slaughter as we slaughter. If you don't eat as he eat, if you don't slaughter a chicken as he slaughtered the chicken, he will kill you. Do you see it? So don't tell us about the meaning of Islam. We knew the meaning of Islam. The meaning of Islam to be perverted. Put a fire like your prophet. Going after six children, six years old. Raping women who they are from the enemy. Kidnapping their women and their children, slaving them. And torturing a man to tell you where he hide his money. And I challenge you to say to me, show me those references. This is what happened when a Muslim, he tried to run away from the truth. He said to you, you do not know. And not only that, they say to you, do you know Arabic? <laughs> you don't know Arabic. <laughs> Actually, even they say to me, I don't know Arabic. Umirtu an uqatil an nasa jamian. Or here, this doesn't say jamian. Uqatil an nas, all people. I've been ordered to kill all, all people. Uqatil is coming from the word qatala, which means kill. All people until they say there's no God but the filthy Allah and if they say and they pray as we pray and they do etc and demonstrate as we demonstrate and they and they slaughter as we slaughter uh, in, then then it's forbidden for us to kill them unless by its right what is right if you broke any of those things anything Muhammad he said And you are a coward to the point to go after a priest and you shoot him in the street, an armed person. 
This is how coward you are. Coward people. Are you there? The one who said to me you do not know what Islam is? What happened? Obviously, we know what Islam is. This is your prophet words. He is ISIS. Actually, Muhammad, he said, no sort of I've been victorious by terror. Is my internet good, guys? We did not lose it. <clears throat> I was victorious by terror. This is why Islam practiced terrorism. Think that it can be victorious, terrifying you, making you subdued to their cult by terror. This is the whole idea of terrorism. They knew they cannot, I mean, shooting a priest now in the front of the road, what, what they ought to do? Just to, to, to terrify the city, you know? They want to make everybody afraid. That's the whole idea. And if they make you afraid, then they won. This is why we will never be afraid. And we will spank your prophet every day. Actually, even when I die, I will be spanking your prophet. I have many books already published in many languages and more languages to come, exposing your filthy scumbag Muhammad, the filthy prophet of Islam. Even, when, even if you kill me, more people will read my books. Actually, this will be the best advertising for my books. Let the whole world see the truth. And now my book is going to be in the Chinese language. So all the Chinese, they will see how stupid Islam is. And actually, I see that more and more people, they are jumping to fight Islam because of Islamic act. So your terrorism is not working. And you cannot scare us. There is more than 60 governments. They are protecting Islam. I showed you many before. Every week I receive a message from YouTube about Pakistan, Bangladesh, etc. complaining about my videos. It's a threat to homeland security. A video in YouTube is a threat for homeland security. So we understand why a cartoon is a threat to Islam. Because Islam is a cartoon. You see, in order to be a threat to our religion by a cartoon, you have to be have a cartonic belief. Otherwise, why are you are afraid from the cartoon? They make cartoon of Jesus too. So? Huh? Why, it's, why Islam fear cartoon? Because Islam is a cartoon. Muhammad is a cartoon. Muhammad is a joke. And you cannot take it that somebody is exposing your prophet by a simple cartoon. Your prophet is a certified idiot. And we will put him in cartoon. You like it, you don't like it, who cares? What you can actually, the more you get angry, the more people watch the cartoon and see the cartoon. It works in the opposite direction. You know the cartoon which is uh, placed in the in the in the school by this the teacher who was a victim of the crimes of Islam. Nobody would talk about it. It's just a school, have a few students, but now because you killed him. Billions of people, they saw the cartoon. They were start like, oh, wait, wait. even the one who never heard of it, he want to see what this cartoon is about. The same as the book of Salman Rushdie. He made a book, nobody read it. It's called Satanic Verses. And then an idiot, Muslim, in Iran, he sent a copy to the Khomeini. Al Khomeini announced takbir, Allahu Akbar, jihad. We want to kill this guy who wrote this book. And then suddenly his book became number one book in the world you see they are making cartoon even if Jesus supposedly even in Moses why we don't get upset we are smarter than that 
but because you are a coward following the religion of Muta. And we promise you, we will put cartoon always, what you can do, let's see what you can do. Do your best. In fact, I'm very thankful for Muslims, and I will explain to you in a few minutes, because we will have to go soon. If not ISIS, you will not believe me. If not Al-Qaeda, you will not believe me. If not the killing happen every day in Europe, around the world, you will not believe me. So we have to weigh they support each other. Christian Prince, he explained, Muslims, they do it. Right? And look now, the Muslims, they don't want me to go, they, they want me to go back to the topic. <laughs> look, he, Kasim, you are off topic now. Why you are here, Kasim? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not off topic. I was answering you, you donkey. By the way, I am not the one who's calling you donkey. Your prophet, he did. Let me show you. Your prophet, he said, if a person, he raised his head before the imam, he raised his head, Allah will make his head a head of a donkey. Now, for sure, you can prove that Muhammad is a true prophet by practicing the following. You raise your head before the Imam. And if your head turn into a donkey, that's mean your prophet is telling the truth. Now, as long we have more than a billion Muslims, they pray to Allah every day, according to Muslims, yet not even one of them, his head turned to a donkey, and it's impossible that not even one of them he raised his head before the Imam. That's mean Muhammad is a fraud. So Qasim, prove me wrong. Make a video of yourself. Raise your head before the Imam and show us how you transform from a human to a donkey. It might be very hard, by the way, to recognize between you before and you after. Because I think that already you have a head of a donkey. Because you have to have a head of a donkey to believe in such a donkey. His name is Muhammad. And this is the only excuse to say to me, oh, there's no way to know that I had no, dick, uh, no, 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 no uh, donkey uh, head because simply uh, 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 nothing changed. Uh, no, it should be changed. I mean, at least your ears will, will be different. The, the donkey. Right? You, you, you change the topic now. You change. The, you don't want me to show the the cartoon. Is that what you are trying to do? Ah, bad boy. You don't want me to show the cartoon. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, you were successful. No more cartoon. Hmm. 1.8 billion people are donkey according to you who care according to me it's according to your prophet and by the way the muslim they became 1.8 billion yesterday they were 1.6 next month they will be 2 billion three weeks from now they will be 7 billions i mean do you see how the number changed fast look daria she is a woman look like she have 20 babies in the last week Every few months, there is like 300 million more. Hmm. You want to debate? You debate you about what? You are a person who believes shaitan take care from your anus. Prove it and you win. Is it true that your prophet said that shaitan take care from your anus when you pray? And he put it and he will not stop until he make you fall? To win the debate, without debate, put a camera behind your anus, bend over, pray to Allah, Record with a slow motion, post it in YouTube, and let everybody see how the shaitan, he straight hair from your anus, and how he put it, and how the fart come from your beautiful anus, mashallah. And then you won the debate. There's no need to debate. Debate about what? In order to win the debate, my friend, it's very easy. Take it to the laboratory. Do it. 
Just do it. Prove it. I will show you another way to win a debate. Your prophet, he said that the one who listened to music or he listened to dancing girls or singing girls, Allah will make their head the head of donkeys and monkeys. And he will make the earth swallow them. Hmm. How many Muslims, I mean, if we type now be dancing in Egypt, we will see the whole country watch be dancing. Huh? I want you, very simple, forget about the anus stuff. Maybe it's very hard for you because your anus already have no hair because shaitan already taken the, all the hair there. I mean, if every day, is, if each time you pray, shaitan take care from your anus, obviously you are bold there, mashallah, alhamdulillah. So look, uh, the prophet said, uh, among the people, my people, my nation, people would drink wine, call him by other name, and they will play, uh, and uh, a musical instrument will be played for them, and singing girls will sing for them. Allah will cause the earth to swallow them, brother, and turn them into monkeys and pigs. Prove it. And then you won. I mean, how simple it is. Very simple. I'm telling you from now, you won the debate, that's it, prove it. Listen to music. Actually, already you listen to music, you liar. Well, always when I start my, my, okay, let me do it. Let me turn you into a pig immediately. Hold on. Hmm? Let us see if you are going, open the camera for us, let us show you. Okay, did you turn into donkey or a monkey? Prove it. We just play the music for you. So obviously you have to be a certified donkey to believe in such a donkey. His name is Muhammad. You like it, you don't like it. This is the truth. I know the truth hurt. But as long as you're a donkey, I think you can handle it. Prove you wrong. Right? Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Never vote for Democrat. Doesn't matter who is going to be the coming president. Never, ever, 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 ever vote for Democrat. They are Antichrist people. And just to show you the hypocrisy of Muslims and, and Islam. How you Muslims, you voted for Obama. He's an ex-Muslim. How you vote for Biden, who stands for drinking, party, Antifa, homosexuality, uh, you know, anti-God believe. They don't want to believe in God. Uh, how, how you vote for him? How you vote for someone when you do abortion? Because you are a hypocrite, like your prophet. You are a wave rider, like the Democrat. So both of you in bed together, because perfectly match. Both of you are hypocrites. You vote for the one who is against your belief, because you are a hypocrite. You are a wave rider. But the wave will not carry you long. And we are here to get you busted. A true Christian, he voted for Democrat, he joined the Antichrist party. This is the truth. They stand for everything against the teaching of Christ, from killing babies, to banning the word God, to banning prayer from schools, to taking believers from schools, they want your children to be a bunch of atheists who have no belief and they follow one belief, drugs and sex. This is what they want. So sponsoring Democrat is a sponsoring to the devil. Anyone he claimed to be Christian, yet he vote for Democrat, obviously he's a false Christian. He want to ride the wave, the joy of the devil. They stand for everything wrong. I say to you, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. 
don't forget to download the video as soon as it is ready to be downloaded because I, as you know, YouTube will take it down. They love me. And by the way, I'm very thankful that people, they support us by donation. We got $5 in the last 24 hours. So now I can go and drink coffee for $5. That's a lot. But anyway, thanks for the person who did the $5 donation. That's really good from him. Uh, it's better than the rest. I think soon we will start receiving donations from Al-Qaeda. May the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Joe Biden is false. Democrat is racist party of slavery. And we are going to stand against every one dethroned, no matter who. Even if someone claims to be Christian. Never take a side, but the side of the truth. And the truth is in the book which Jesus said. Read the books, search the truth, and the truth will set you free. And the truth is the Messiah. No name in the sky or on earth better than his name. No act is better than his act. No teaching better than his teaching. Love your enemy, don't hate the Muslims, hate the teaching of the filthy Muhammad, and make fun of him, and show everybody that he is a scumbag, he is ordering people to kill each other, murdering each other, so the devil can enjoy the blood sh bloodshed. He don't want peace. The Lord, he said, bless those who do peace in earth. Muhammad, he want the opposite. Islam of the devil. And with this we say, thank you, God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care.